Hello, everybody, and welcome to MovieCast, the podcast where we talk about all things film. Uh, I have my good old Thunder Buddy for Life here, Costa, <laughs> joining <Aww>. me. <laughs> right, right? Oh, I didn't that. know that. Yeah, hey, Are we what's Thunder up? Buddies? <laughs> we, we, you know? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and we have Chad joining us today. How but you it's doing? not official Hello. until you put a ring on it. Uh, we might have to uh, we'll talk, talk about, about that, later. that off air. All right, uh, yeah. Don't want to don't want to air dirty laundry out to the world. <laughs> Amber is not here for this uh, podcast today, but yep. as I just said, we do have Chad's. Uh, how's it going, dude? It's good. It's good yeah. to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Glad to have you on. Uh, we all just saw Ted Two. If we didn't make that obvious by our opening remarks there, um, <laughs> or the giant teddy bear standing directly behind. Yeah, me. yeah, that's probably a big giveaway. No, see, that's Ned. Ned, <laughs> <laughs> he's just holding up the wrong sign. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, so basically, we want to talk about the film. Uh, basically, what we like to do, Chad, I'll explain it to you and to anybody who hasn't uh, seen our show before. We like to start off doing spoiler-free reviews. Um, we talk for a few minutes. Um, we'll just do a roundtable. Uh, we'll say what we thought of the film. Um, and it, would we recommend people to go out to go see it? That's basically the point. Mm -hmm. But we'll start off with a few minutes of spoiler free. So, you know, just try to give an opinion without giving anything away. And then after that, we'll hear our good old friend, Mr. Wilhelm. And then when you hear the Wilhelm scream, then we've entered spoiler territory. And then continue watching at your own risk. I mean, although I, grant, I, don't, I doubt we'll spoil a whole lot this time. Yeah. But, but, you know, still, yeah. still, it's still watch at your own risk at that point. Chad, this is your first time on our show, so let's start off with you. Uh, spoiler free, uh, what did you think about Ted, and would you recommend uh, people to go see it? Well, I, I thought Ted was really funny. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I would say just about as funny as the first one, if you've seen the first one. Um, you know, there are definitely a lot of, uh, you know, laugh out loud moments, um, a lot of special cameos, <laughs> yeah. and... Uh, you know stuff like that's really great that uh kind of makes you know people want to actually go see the movie and uh um you know the there there were a couple of things like i thought it was a little bit more raunchy than the first one was so you know if that's not your thing maybe stay away but you know if, if you like that then definitely go um mm. there's also uh i i found there was a lot of like kind of awkward parts too though and a lot of uh, awkward in what way like oh just kind of trying <laughs> to be funny and not not okay. really hitting it. Yeah. But yeah. then again, I mean, that's kind of the family guy type of humor that Seth MacFarlane brings. He throws something mm -hmm. out there. If you think it's funny, you do. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's, good that's overall, a pretty fair point. Yeah. You would recommend it to people yeah. to go out and yeah. go see. If you, yeah. if you like to laugh, it's a good movie. Okay. All right. Well, th that's very good. Costa, what do you think? I agree with Chad only if you stay for the first half of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, 30 minutes done. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, 45. About. Yeah. I, the the first half of Ted 2 <laughs> was was hilarious. And, mm -hmm. and it, it kept up with the pace of the first movie. Right. But then when you got to the second half and they get into the whole trial thing of, you know, of, of proving whether or not Ted is a person and not a, you know, uh, someone's property or whatever, then it just took a really... I wouldn't say, like, grinding halt but mm -hmm. it, it came close just because okay. like like the, the the jokes weren't nearly as abundant during the second half yeah and 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 just a lot of like just the the, the courtroom scenes like had a couple of moments but other than that they were just you know it felt like a traditional courtroom scene <laughs> like in a movie like ted though i i, I would have i don't know preferred a little more um you know antics mm -hmm. um in that regard but um I, I prefer the first one mm -hmm. over this one. Um, I mean, this is a tough call. I mean, I, I think like the first half of the movie is good. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm <laughs> really torn, struggling. Like, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn between either just telling people to wait for it to hopefully get on Netflix or Redbox or something, or mm. going and seeing it. I think. I would say if you are a fan of Seth MacFarlane, if you're a fan of Family Guy, and really anything else that that he's done in the past, you know, um, then yeah, go see it. You you'll find moments of it enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, if you're just kind of like intrigued by it a little bit, or you know, um, then Redbox. I mean, I, it's not a bad movie, right? Yeah, it, it, it's it's just not 
I don't think it because like I said the first one was hilarious beginning to end. Right. Like I remember like my stomach was in pain after <laughs> watching the first movie. This one, like I said, the first half is hilarious. Second half slows down. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, just keep that in mind out to anybody who does decide to go see it. Just don't expect like that same you know, joke one joke after another like the whole. Movie, mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Yeah, and and that's fair. Um. I tend to more agree with you. Um, I, I do think the first is better. I thought the first one's humor hit more often than this one. Mm -hmm. uh, even you were mentioning that sometimes the humor didn't hit. Yeah. And, and that's why I felt like a lot, of, a lot of this humor just did not hit this time for whatever reason. It's not mm -hmm. that the jokes were bad or out of place. It's just like... I don't know. It's it's just one of those where it's like mm, that wasn't really that funny as a, as I thought as maybe it should have been. Maybe it didn't you know just land as funny as it should have been. But um, I like I said I do think the first one's better. Also because its humor was unique at first. I mean th mm. I mean I have said all about the first Ted was exactly what I expected. It I ex I expected it to be Family Guy the movie. Even though it, you know, it's Ted, but it's but it's Family Guy, mm -hmm. and I always told people if you like Family Guy's humor, you're gonna like Ted, and this was Family Guy's humor still, you know, but it, it just yeah, it just didn't have that pacing that um, it, the first one had right exactly. It, well, not even that. Like it, it was harder to care for the story as much, even though I felt the story was better structured in this one, mm -hmm. um, because the first one was a good story, but like. But like it was just overwritten at times. It felt like to me, if like it felt like it took them a long time to explain a simple thing in the first one. Yeah, you know, or like a simple concept in this one. At first, well, I, I'll say at first I thought it was structured better. But then once they get, did get into the courtroom stuff and all that, then then it does kind of spiral a little bit because yeah. there's no there's no real cohesiveness to it, especially near that end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then. Um, yeah, and you know, I, I'm not as impressed as I was by the first Ted, basically. Yeah. The first Ted, I was uh, just like you. I was laughing away, ha you know, happy. I was laughing, you know. I, that's it was really entertaining. This one, I'm like, okay, it's entertaining, but it, but it didn't like, you know, impress me. I guess. I, I kind of feel like I watched almost two different movies. Yeah, with, with yes. Ted too, just because, like I said, the first <laughs> half was just so hilarious, mm -hmm. and then. You know, the second half, I mean, it was again, it wasn't horrible, but it just like I said, everything just sort of changed. Yeah. Once you got past the midway point, and um, yeah. So I I, I don't know. It's it's it, it, it's it's hit or miss. I mm. mean, but I I you know, it's a, it's it's still a decent comedy. Yeah. Just don't just don't expect you know like the same amount of like laughter as with the first. Ah! So that was the scream of our dying German friends. So that means we have entered the spoiler ter portion of our review. So once again, continue watching at your own risk from this point on. So let's dig in. Um, <laughs> so there were some, I think uh, you mentioned, you know, there were some a lot of fun cameos that really, to me, were like probably the most enjoyable part of the yeah. film. I think we all kind of agreed that Liam Neeson's oh my gosh. appearance was... <laughs> that is like the best thing Liam Neeson has ever done, ever. <laughs> I, I, I do remember when I was watching that scene, and like, you know, as you're watching the scene, I could tell that it was just going to be for this joke, but like, yeah. the minute I knew he was leaving the scene, I was like, no, I just want more <laughs> Liam Neeson now. Why are you leaving? Like, I, w I almost wish Liam Neeson could have filled the Sam Jones role of being, like, the recurring character yeah. who keeps coming back, you know? Like, but, yeah, th so that was funny. And then, and of course, you can't have Morgan Freeman appear in your movie without giving a speech. Yeah, <laughs> see, interesting, like, like, again, like, we all, we all, you know, enjoy, you know, the smoothness that is Morgan Freeman's voice, but... <laughs> Morgan Freeman, Morgan yeah. Freeman, Morgan Freeman. Um, Andy Dufresne. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> my good friend, right, Andy let's, Dufresne. Let's 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 quote the butchering of the of the man's hey. godlike <laughs> voice. Hey, um, he was God. <laughs> yeah, he was God. Yeah, um, and see, but the, and, and and funny enough that when he had like his little you know, I guess deposition when he all of a sudden joined the mix and decided to mm -hmm. to take on um, Ted's you know case or whatever again just like that whole moment i mean the thought is nice i mean and and the message still kind of works here the whole idea about civil rights and and people you know being able to live their lives you know equally yeah and whatnot but 
both his kind of like speech and was it Amara, Amanda uh, Seyfried? Seyfried. Okay, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Seyfried. Um, like, like those moments, like as, as nice as they were, like for face value, it just doesn't fit with the movie. You know mm. what I'm saying? Sure. Like, like it, you know, it just doesn't fit the tone. Yeah. You know, and... and well, well, it felt like more like in this movie they were trying to make a point with yeah. this film oh, as yeah. opposed yeah. to the first Ted was just, you know, the first no. Ted was just a basic story, you know? It was yeah. like, they weren't trying to make it. I mean, yeah, there were some themes of, like, friendship and all that, obviously, but, like, this was trying to make, like, a very clear point about, like, life and... You know, treating people as you know all living which, beings. Which, which, the message is fine, that. but I just right. don't think Ted is the movie to do that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ted could have been like a nonstop laugh fest for an hour and a half, and mm-hmm. and you know, it opted to go a little more serious in the second half. You know, which which is why I gotta you know mm-hmm. knock some you know take some points away from it if there's even a scoring system. <laughs> It's like the Who's Line system of scoring. Yeah, exactly. The points really don't matter, but... <laughs> but we're taking points away way, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Negative 10 points for Ted. Ted, yes. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I agree. Like, just the first Ted was just such so much more original, I thought, you know, just because yeah. the idea was unique. And it's like, I still enjoy the Ted character, but it's just like, it just, I don't know, the humor just didn't seem as fresh this time around. I don't know. Mm. What do you think, Chad? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I just thought like, I mean, I, I kind of disagree as far as uh, like taking it and uh, making it into two halves of different types of movie. I understand that the uh, like the court scenes and all that stuff was pretty serious, and it's, mm-hmm. you're trying to take. It's hard to take like a subject like slavery <laughs> and just make it funny in and, this absurd well. movie and compare, you know, <laughs> like stuff like that to like a talking bear. Yeah. Um, magical talking <laughs> bear. But, um, you know, I thought that uh, overall um, there's definitely a lot of uh, different, like, laugh out loud parts throughout mm. the movie. Mm. So if you don't, like, watch the whole thing or whatever, there's going to be some really funny things that you miss. But, yeah. Right. Well, well by my point being those, but I think I think it's a fair point to say that those, that those laugh out loud moments are far less frequent in the second half of the movie. Yeah, I, w- I would say a little bit just because they do spend a lot of th- like what we were talking about Morgan Freeman's appearance. What what kind of bugged me about it is like, you know, the whole movie was built around, you know, like, you know, Ted's a human, not property yeah. like that. That was the whole movie. And it's like the climax of the movie is, oh, I'll handle your case. Two seconds later, oh, we're done. They won. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Come on. It, it, like, we don't see any of the like, at, like. Yeah, it's it's just like we see a lot of the court stuff in the middle of the movie, and then they go away from it for a long Listen, time. And when then... when you and Cor- <laughs> like when Morgan Freeman walks into the courtroom, <laughs> that's like that's like rolling what like like a, I mean I don't play I don't play very much of Dungeons and Dragons. But that's like rolling like a nat twenty or something like that <laughs> on on you know that's like instant win. Like you're just not gonna uh, you know <laughs> you're, you're, you're like the the prosecutors have no shot. Yeah, I mean, uh, go ahead. Well, Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I heard something, but um, what what I'm what, what I guess my point is like it it I felt the second half of the movie like especially the story just didn't seem as structured as it should have been. It could, it kind of seems that like they go off randomly on like mm-hmm. you know yeah. like some weird thing, and then it ends up you know with Don, um, Johnny's character like almost dying and all that. I'm just like. We've come a long way from, <laughs> yeah. from trying to prove that Ted's a human. Like, yeah. uh, what, what what have we devolved into here? Um, and I also, <laughs> I guess for me, like, I didn't care nearly as much for like the relationship between um, Amanda Seyfried and Mark Wahlberg. Like, that just seemed mm-hmm. kind of like that. Honestly, to me, was like the weakest part of the whole movie. Yeah. Like, I really didn't care much about that because we we even said before and like you know. The whole thing about building up the relationship with uh, him and Mila mm. Kunis's character in the first movie, and then they just sort of just like randomly throw it away, right? For whatever reason, right? Other than just you know more character development, right? You know, well, whatever. Well, but see, the pro- right, exactly. The problem is you can't you can't build up such a relationship and then just toss it out. And the films that have done that are have not been universally, I guess, acclaimed films like. Uh, it was done in Transformers, 
it was done in kick ass in the set i mean sorry if i'm spoiling any of these movies for you guys but like you know and in the third transformers they kicked out uh megan fox Mm -hmm. and you know and they and once and no explanation just oh good thank god you ditched that other girl and then in Kick-Ass 2, their, his relationship with uh, the girl from the first movie just ends because of something really, really stupid and coincidental right at the beginning of Kick-Ass 2. And I'm just like, you can't do that. That destroys, like, because mm-hmm. then whatever other relationship you come up with, it doesn't feel as impactful. Mm-hmm. You know, I, mean? I guess the I guess the point of Amanda Seyfried's character was that, like, and they kind of mention it a little bit, was that... um. That her character doesn't mind, you know, like doing drugs or, you yeah. know, she's basically Johnny, Johnny in female form, basically. More and I less, guess yeah. the difference was that Milo well, Kunis's character. Well, she's not nearly as maladjusted because she was even like at the end, you know, since when we're talking sports, but at the end when you find out that Johnny had like faked his death. Right. At the end, well, like, she's oh, like okay. losing her mind. You well, know? well, right. Obviously, that was, well, for one thing, that was an evil dick thing for Johnny oh, to right, do. But, right. like, <laughs> but like, so you can understand her reaction. But see, being, but, but, see but, but, but the point is, she didn't mind like doing drugs like with Johnny. Right. And whereas Mila Kunis's character, I can't remember what her name was in the first film. Um, she was it like did, Laurie she was, or something? Laurie, like yeah. Laurie. She was trying to fix him she was trying to change him to yeah. make him to make More him grow up, up. right yeah. exactly yeah. she was trying to make him somebody else which i don't mind that as the explanation but just the fact that it starts off without her it's too mm-hmm. sudden that way yeah i i, I guess it's my point yeah <laughs> they, they do try to uh like build kind of a story about like you know oh he's so messed up now so now all he does is well, you know, watch porn. Oh yeah, and, no, that. that. So they, they did get a few jokes out of it, but you know, yeah, I mean, I I got that. I I, mm. I will say at least it's not same character, two different actresses like in Batman. Oh God, yes. <laughs> well, let, well, if you're gonna go that route, please just just. Just get get somebody better than me. I did Gyllenhaal. like, um, <laughs> oh yeah. The, I did. the minute they killed Rachel in the Dark Knight, I was like, "This is the best <laughs> movie ever. This just became the best movie ever." But anyway, that, moving on. Saying, yeah. Um, I I did like uh, some of the connects that they did have between Ted and Ted Two mm-hmm. because, like, uh, I think Costa said that it seemed like two kind of separate movies. Yeah. Um, but like you know, at the end when he had that scene. You know where, which so awkward, by the way, the the death scene and then the ha gotcha, oh, God. which is kind of like it was funny, yeah. but it was like you know, but just you knew that awkward. was coming though. Yeah. But then when he brought back like the you know because I play, I acted like I was retarded in the first one. It was like okay, <laughs> that that was kind of a funny like look back, like he did do that, and that was funny in the first one. <laughs> I mean, it, oh okay, right. That that yeah. took me a second to think of that, yeah. but right, because yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, but I, you, but you saw that coming a mile away, though. As soon as the doctor came in, he's like, oh, yeah, he's like, sure. uh, he didn't make it. We did all we could do, blah blah blah. And then you go in there, like, th- this is a comedy. Yeah, like like he's not going to die. He's right. obviously faking it, and well, it's um, a fun hospital. Yeah, to, yeah. <laughs> we're a fun hospital. We have fun we're, here. We're a fun, we're a fun hospital. hospital. I, I want to see that now. I'm like, Johns Hopkins, we're a fun hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad dead. Your dad is dead. Arkham you know, Asylum. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we're a fun prison. <laughs> That's a great comparison, actually. <laughs> we just, we just have play games, you know? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like, yeah, it... The ca- the cameos were funny. The the recurring joke of the Google search. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. That, 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 that was I thought was great. like <laughs> the best joke in the film. Is you're always you're, you're always two clicks away from black cocks on yeah. Google. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And just no, the that, most random stuff is what they're googling. Yeah, and then exactly. all the of Grand a sudden, Canyon, like. <laughs> That was good. Which is I, totally I, I not true, that. by the way, no, everyone. But it, no, <laughs> Don't but worry. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, uh, some of the other, I mean, not to like change like this, but also the scene in the, um, uh, where, uh, Johnny gets all of the sperm samples. Oh, oh my God. God. How, how, yes. how inside out did your stomach feel? <laughs> yeah. After that? I remember <laughs> you making noises during that part. And I, I was, was like, like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and, 
honestly, like I I want to know what the, they probably use like some sort of probably like, like shampoo or something. I don't maybe, know. Like, I, I thought it may have been like a shampoo, like yeah. shampoo, or maybe even like like some liquids like milk or something to <laughs> give it maybe. like the white, yeah. you know, like. Uh, but yeah, exactly. And it doesn't no. matter what it is. It's like <laughs> I, just, well, and that's the thing. Like they that scene was also teased in like yeah. trailers and TV mm-hmm. spots, uh-huh. but at least that still I hit, even I, though I, I knew it was coming. Honestly, yeah. I like, hadn't it, seen that, so I was like, oh, okay. let's see. As soon, but you just knew. Uh, oh yeah, but, absolutely. But you yeah. Knew the second that the doctors left them in that yeah. room, oh yeah, of course, for whatever mm-hmm. reason, like you knew, like hashtag, something awful yeah. was going to happen. Hashtag Mondays. <laughs> Mondays. <laughs> no hashtag Ooh, Gur Mondays. Gur Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that that was a good back and forth joke. Also. I don't. I don't know how much I cared about that they brought back the villain from the first movie. The, oh, oh Donnie. Donnie! Yeah, yeah. yeah Donnie. I, the, the, honestly, hey, actually, no. Scratch it. Scratch the relationship between uh, uh, Samantha and Johnny. That was the worst part of the movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, th- who? Like, yeah. I, I didn't. That that just seemed like completely out. And he only had like a few scenes in the whole movie, and it just like, right. seemed like a waste of time yeah. to focus right. on well, that. Well, well, and and like. And I know this is kind of nitpicking, but it's like, but also it didn't make any sense because his plan was to kidnap Ted, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so first of all, why was he planning to do this during Comic Con? Like, like that. It's complete. First of all, it's complete coincidence yeah. that Ted ended up at Comic Con anyway. Yeah. So the fact that the Hasbro happened to be at Comic Con, all of that is very hugely coincidental. <laughs> uh, so, and then secondly, so he dresses up as a Ninja Turtle character to you know get to catch Ted off guard. Once he got Ted isolated. Why in the world didn't he knock him out then? Why did he? Why did he stand there, take off his mask? Like, what do you think he was going to? What did? He, what did he think Ted was going to do? Did he think that Ted was just going to stand there and be like, "Oh, it's that guy. Okay, fine, go ahead, take me now." You know, like he made it so much harder on himself. It's because like that made no sense at all. Because Ted was willingly going with him right. when he was a Ninja Turtle. Right. You could have just grabbed him. <laughs> you could have just knocked him out right then. Just give. Just like punched him out of nowhere, knocked him out, which he ends up doing anyway. Mm-hmm. But it's like. That made no sense. And then the leader of the Hasbro, like, why why do they think, like, they can just cut into the bear right then and there he at Comic-Con? A, like, total, and plus, total throwaway character, too, the, yes. the president yeah. of Hasbro. Exactly. I mean, just, why? Oh, just because I was seeing the Comic-Con. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa, I know another whoa, random thought. Uh-oh, uh-oh. One thing, I don't know if anyone else <laughs> noticed this. But you know when you showed up at Comic Con and Patrick Warburton yeah. was yeah. dressed up as the Tick, he <laughs> voiced the Tick when that was a cartoon show. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, nice. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, yeah that I makes it either. more more that, special. That, that's yeah, funny. yeah. I was kind of laughing at that. Because I was like, why is the wait? Why I'm is the sorry. Tick with the guy from I know that Star Trek? Like, right. like a total yeah, like just like random yeah. like. I just had like my my ADD memo. I was like, whoa, hold on a sec. <laughs> No, no. It, Talking about the Comic Con uh, scenes, yeah. but that that was kind of funny. That part was really funny when they're beating up all the nerds. nerds. Oh God! <laughs> 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 yeah, what was the one he like makes the one nerd terms like like that floor comes up on you pretty quick or something like? Yeah, what well, was that? that yeah, after he shows him down, like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like Patrick Warburton, and I'm glad that he makes cameo. Oh yeah, uh, well, yeah, recurring great. appearance in this. Yeah. Well, he also plays Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe. Well, yeah. obviously, yes, but but I'm just saying, like, you know, he's a he's a good actor and yeah. he's funny. But uh, but yeah, just that and that whole Comic Con sequence, just like, okay, I get it that it was supposed to be funny that mm-hmm. you know they both played songs that neither two could resist to give away their positions. But it's like if you're in fear for your life, I'm sorry. No, that the, that's you what do, makes you it funny. You do not though. start dancing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, again, I realize that I know this is a comedy. These are nitpicks, but I, but I, these are thoughts I had. I as thought I those parts like, were really funny. No, yeah, well, especially when he flips it on the Donnie character and he starts dancing as the Ninja Turtle. Well, of course, <laughs> I'm a huge Red Sox fan, so any oh, yeah. any like nods to Fenway Park or the you know Sweet Caroline. Oh, you love the first I'm movie. like, yeah. yeah. I was oh, about to say, well, yeah, in Fenway? In Fenway? Yeah, yeah, that was great. There's no top in that. <laughs> yeah. And, but and New York Comic Con's pretty big, too. But. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, and, and Tom Brady's appearance was funny, even though we already knew it. Knew, yeah. You know, yeah. And they gave that away. See, and that's the other thing, too, is that <laughs> they, they basically spoiled all of the scenes with Tom Brady in the trailers. They did, Pretty much. Actually. Like, yeah. they, I'm surprised they didn't at least save one more. Including the deflate gate jokes. Yeah, the they joke yeah. I didn't see that one. Well, in the trailer. Well, it was a TV promo. Yeah. TV oh, okay. Teaser. Yeah, yep, so but, there they, you but go. they gave that away too, <laughs> which which I think we all agreed was like a very late like dub yeah. in. They were like, mm. we got to make a Deflate Gate joke. Honestly, here. I want to <laughs> know what the original joke was because right, yeah. obviously you see Brady deliver his line. He's like, all right, whatever, you know, and he shuts the door. So I, I want to know what the original yeah. line was. Yeah, I was kind of interested in that too because you could clearly tell that was a dub over. Yeah. Because if it wasn't, they would have cut to like some sort of close up of Mark Wahlberg, but they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they clearly wanted that to be an overdub, but so yeah, I mean, uh, I, th I think that's pretty much all. But that was the, like, the that was the other yeah. thing as far as the Tom Brady thing that yeah. I was talking about earlier before the podcast is where, um, you know, they had in the trailer mm. they had him deliver that line. Uh, it's a perfect spiral. You oh, know, yeah. he, they had Mark that Walter. him deliver that line so good in the trailer, mm. and in the movie it's different. Yeah, and it's just like, why didn't you go with the first one? It was more Mark Wahlberg-y. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> it's a perfect so, spiral. That, that's the hardest thing about <laughs> filmmaking is, especially they probably did a few takes of that. So it's like yeah. when you're trying mm -hmm. to figure out which take is the best, like, like it, that's got to be hard to judge with comedy. It's, it's. I mean, it, uh, overall, like, I don't think it was a bad movie. It was still one of those mm -hmm. movies that you just go to and you watch, and it's entertaining. You know, it's. It's better than most, but let me just put it this way. I laughed ten times more at Inside Out than I did this movie. Yeah, you know in, I mean? in, like, Inside like, Out. Seen it. Uh, yeah. no, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I believe it's it's a great, great movie, um, but uh, but that's okay. But, like, uh, but, but basically, yeah, like Inside Out had a pace to its humor, and mm -hmm. it just kept going the whole time, like, and all of their jokes hit. Whereas you could clear in Ted Two, I thought this this was the example of the opposite, where it was still funny, but it wasn't paced out very well. The humor didn't always hit. Some of the jokes did fall mostly flat. Um, so uh, you know, it's again, it's a mixed bag. It's there, a mixed bag for me. There were, uh, well, I remember one part at least mm -hmm. in Ted One, though. Um, I mean, because. I'm not saying Ted One wasn't a great movie. It definitely was. It probably was the better one. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there were definitely parts um, in Ted that were also awkward and not really funny. Is like, there were uh, a few? Like yeah. Like Mar I mean, Mark Wahlberg I'm... singing on the stage, and then uh, there's like one where the dude had like a testicle or something in a glass. Or, oh, the, yeah. the that was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I get. It. Yeah, Joel McHale's so, I mean, character just, was kind of funny, but not yeah. like yeah. It's just kind of natural with the Seth MacFarlane yeah. movie or show mm -hmm. where you know even in Family Guy you'll have certain things that are like you know for certain people that aren't gonna mm -hmm. hit every single time. And, and his, you know what? Yeah, no, that that's that's pretty accurate because oh. even at. Well, After it, you're done, okay. Even because even <laughs> at right at the beginning of the movie, when they uh, did like that whole wedding cake dance sequence, I just kind of sat there. I'm like, you're that was Family Guy the whole time. I'm like, yeah. I'm oh, just yeah. like, this. Is, okay, a, this mm -hmm. is Family Guy. It was B, too long. It, it was way too long, and and that which is exactly how you would describe Family skits guy. from an episode of Family Guy. Sometimes yeah. they go on way too oh, long yeah. and are not funny. The chicken uh, However, <laughs> I I did have to make a joke to Julia as we were watching. They. Uh, they did like a parody scene of SNL, you know, they did yeah. like yes. a parody SNL skit. And r when it was over, I turned to Julian and I was like, well, they got that right. Just like an SNL skit. It wasn't funny. That was, <laughs> that, was the, that was the biggest, like one of the biggest awkward things I was talking about yes, because yeah. I actually love SNL, mm -hmm. but that part just wasn't fun. Like it was, it there, seemed like yeah. the, the movie was funnier than that little <laughs> bit. So it was like, you know, just made it in comparison seem kind of awkward. And I was like, oh no, SNL. Yeah. <laughs> They're tarnishing it. Yeah. Well, well cause, <laughs> yeah, cause no, they didn't even make any clever joke off. No. Of it. They were, I mean, Bill Hader was playing. You know Ted in that skit, right? No, that was no, Bobby Moynihan. Moynihan. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, but he just he he didn't make a joke. He just kind of like just did like a caricature version of yeah. Ted. Like it, yeah. it was just so weird. And yeah. then she made like a period joke, and it was like what? Something, yeah, I, it, I'm yeah. on my period, and then and then it was like that's that's not funny. Yeah, <laughs> out of context, it's you know just randomly. It, yeah, no, exactly. If it was like a running joke about. You know mm. that then maybe, but mm. you know. Although I did like the the Fox News Channel bit. 
that was they had, they that had was to throw great. their stab in at Fox that, News there. That was <laughs> uh, and uh, also we when they agree. showed um, yeah, they showed um, uh, Ted's bachelor party. Oh they're, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. They're, they're watching the Bears mating. Yeah, that's oh, right. that yeah. is somebody's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was oh, really good. Oh, and the yeah. scene with uh, you know the yelling or saying negative things to the comedians or negative nine oh, eleven. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like trying to trying <laughs> no to no one the said Starbucks. Try, trying to give people like improv actors, yeah, terrible <laughs> suggestions like nine eleven or I, I love how I love how they were like, okay, okay, fine, ignore them, name a place. Char- Officers of Charlie Hedbo. <laughs> like that's okay. That that was pretty yeah. good, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I, I like I said, and all of that was pre courtroom. Yes, yeah. all of that. Yeah, I, Every, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah, all of that was. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I, I did want to add mm-hmm, okay. that um, you know when we when we talk about you know like ranking movies and stuff like that, yeah. like Ted. Um, you know, you guys are saying Ted is better than Ted 2. I think they're about the same, to be honest. Okay, and that's fair. But um, we've kind of seen movies with Seth MacFarlane that he's created that haven't been very good. Million Ways to Die in the West. Well, yeah. That one kind of missed. Yeah, okay. no, that, yeah. Was, so, that was a huge Yeah. So if you miss. look at stuff like that in comparison, you're like, well, Ted 2 is a pretty good movie. <laughs> well, no, when we do it that way, yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's again, it really, to me, it really just all came down to, like, just how the tone and the pacing of the movie just changed right. after the courtroom. Right. And, well, and that goes back to the point that I made right at the beginning is that, like, Ted is Seth MacFarlane's family guy vehicle for the for the movie theater mm-hmm. you know what i mean so he basically uses ted to do his family guy type humor i mean but i think it would be and, fair to say that ted yeah. 2 is still better than anything he's done i mean i haven't seen anything of family guy for like the last yeah. two or three years like mm-hmm. i haven't really been paying attention to it but i'd be safe in saying that ted 2 is probably still better than anything he's done with family guy I, over I, the last few and, years and, that, oh, yeah. and that's fair that's I, right. I think at the, I think at this point he's not as hands on with family no, guy anymore and no. I think why? that's probably why uh, because the Ted Ted is entirely his like that's right. his project he right. directed created you know wrote you know I that's mean, that's pretty much all him he, he's so. he's an incredibly talented talented oh, guy yeah, I mean absolutely. very funny you know yeah. mm-hmm. I just I'm just hoping that um, you know with whatever he does next as far as movies like I, I hope he doesn't do a Ted 3 even though they kind of left themselves room to do well, that. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, yeah, I mean, I mean, I kind of hope they comedy. don't. Right, they they right, have room. Right. To, they always have room. I mean, Unless you kill off a character, you always have room. Right. To do I'm just, comedy. I'm just hoping though, because Seth MacFarlane uh-huh. does tend to sometimes, like when he gets a little too attached to an idea, say oh, Family yeah. Guy, he'll he'll beat it mm-hmm. to, you know, to death. Yeah. You know, so I'm I'm kind of hoping that he's done with Ted. Yeah. He's learned from his mistakes from A Million Ways to Die in the West. <laughs> and that, you know, he comes up with another kind of like, you know, if he wants to continue with like the whole pseudo family guy stuff, kind of like Ted, but he kind of morphs that into another more original idea. I like to see him do something more along those lines again. Mm. Yeah, um, that's fair. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, and I think that's a good place to wrap it up for today because yeah. uh, I think we've exhausted everything. That we've yeah, no, there's not film. not too much to talk about with Ted. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. We, we don't want to spoil like all the jokes for people who haven't seen it. But yeah, I mean, you get some good laughs out of it. It, it. It'll be better than probably most comedies you'll see this year anyway, despite its inconsistencies. Sure. Yeah, I'll give you that much actually. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Well. That's it, guys. Thank you, Chad, for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, of course. Always glad to have you on. And if you guys all want to join in our conversation here, you can follow us on all the various social medias, Twitter, Facebook. We have all the links up, but it's movie.cast spelled out in a few uh, links, but you'll see it on the screen. So join us. Talk to us. Let us know what you thought about Ted. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate you watching. And, yeah, have a great day. See you.